Alright, so here it is. Um, this is going to be its maiden voyage. I haven't even put gas in the in the engine yet. So here we have two um, two 12 volt batteries wired up in series, and they run they run two independently controlled 24 volt motors. So this isn't the best camera to use for this, I guess, because it's a uh, SLR. doesn't really autofocus on video. Um, but yeah, I'm going to gas it up and see what we get. Before I forget, I just want to show you the detail. The detail here. It's a horizontal shaft engine comes down and connects to a to a Scott's real mower eventually I want to put height control so that's what I have these that's I don't I don't have these set up right yet so um, those are just training wheels off of a little bike but yeah I don't have it welded together yet I mean this is just proof of concept so it's just kind of just kind of tacked together with some with some bolts and stuff so and that's uh, the deck is just a piece of plywood I have a control joystick control so alright I'm gonna try to try to crank it up now let's see on gotta turn it on oh put the gas cap on here's the choke on choke Throttle, grab it, turtle, grab it. Let's put it at the rabbit first. So, alright. It's tipped the wrong way, so I don't want to put my butt in the camera here, so let's turn it around. I just kind of want it to be a floating front, so it's not quite there yet, but I'll get it there. but there's plenty of speed. That shot's lower, man. That thing's flying. Alright, I'll see how it works.
<laughs> oh, that was kind of touching, wasn't it? Oops. All right, well, a couple of things. It really gets covered in grass, but my grass is kind of wet, and it's really long. I mean, I took off a good hand height of it. Um, but yeah, man, that was that was pretty rocking. I didn't have a tripod, so I apologize. Um, so I was going through that, and what I did find was see how this um, this head is is floating. Well, you can see the problem with the belt then. So, when it pushed up, it loosened the tension on this belt and it would just spin. The uh, pulley would just, you know, it, it wouldn't bite on the belt. So, um, so yeah, I need another bar um, to hold this down so that the uh, belt keeps tension on it. Also what I want to do, um, I, I do have a cover for it so it won't look like that all the time when the and grass and the batteries and all that. But um, what I want to do is uh, get a 24 volt alternator um, one of my concerns was that the engine wouldn't have enough power, but it has plenty of power. I wasn't even at half throttle doing that. So I can put another pulley on the shaft and mount a 24 volt alternator right here, which would tie into the batteries there. Um, this railroad is just for weight, a counterweight to the, uh, oops, as long as it doesn't fall on my foot counterweight for the for the head because of it teeter totters on the center wheel there um, so yeah I like it it's a mess right now wow is it a mess all right well cool proof of concept proof of concept I just went out turned around in the middle of the yard and came back because I knew I was going out of view um, so I wish it had a little, I might have to replace the tires, get something a little, a little more, uh, I don't know, a little long tractor tires or something. These these will slip a lot because they're, it's, it's really the base of a wheelchair. Um, the Jazzy Select Elite Wheelchair. And um, just pop the chair off. I saw on a YouTube video that um, these old chairs were great because it had all the motor assemblies and battery pack and voltage control stuff and even a controller. I mean, it's all all one package that I got for a hundred bucks, you know, um, off Craigslist. And really, you can't beat it. Um, then I used all the the bars and and mechanics from the seat that was on it for the front assembly and uh, then I mounted an old reel mower to the front Scott's reel mower and the engine was from Harbor Freight it's the smallest one they had I think it's uh, three horsepower or something like that and uh, and the user must operate. Oh, you can't, it's not auto zooming. Anyway, a bunch of warning labels all over it. Oh, the reason I want to do an alternator, you might think that's kind of overkill. Um, but wait, as you can see, you know, it kind of eats up the battery. Um, I mean, it wasn't fully charged when I first started, but 
as I was going back and forth it was down to two bars and I certainly didn't want to didn't want have to push this thing back into the garage you can get a horn look at that <laughs> but I'm thinking I can duplicate this um, this control with uh, I think it's just some potentiometers in there um, I'd hate to think that they ran motor voltage up through a little cord um, I do know that there's a there's a um, some kind of voltage you know the brain of the thing is is up front I haven't taken that plastic cover off the front to check it out uh, but I have this nice nice disconnect right here and it's just four pins um, so I'll get my voltmeter and and hopefully I'll be able to plug this into a into a, um, a brain computer and um, be able to make uh, logic control for driving it around. I got enough room up here I can put a little camera or whatever and uh, have it be completely laptop controlled.